that first of all, we're announcing that we are going to postpone the Norm Stewart Classic. And we're working on the days already to when we're going to postpone it, and we're hoping we'll have the appropriate date and at about the same time as it was scheduled for this year, that, that second weekend in December, which seems to fit. And we hope that everybody that's been cooperating before and so well, and that we can make it go. Uh, something I want to emphasize is that Denny Hunt, who's the executive secretary of the Missouri Basketball Coaches Association, has had to have surgery, otherwise he would have been here today. And we wish him well. He's doing okay, but uh, slow recovery. He's been uh, so instrumental in everything we've done with the Missouri Basketball Coach Association. We now have almost 1,500 members. And uh, we started that years ago when Coach Filbert so we want to put it together, and Denny Hunt, of course, again, has been so good. 1,500 boys and girls coaches are members of the Missouri Basketball Coaches Association, and that's who is sponsors. They're actually, they're not sponsors, but they're the ones who organize the playing of all the games. Uh, Brad Hayes is here. And Brad uh, is the owner of Round Ball Magazine and probably knows more basketball players, high school basketball players, not only in the state of Missouri, but across this country. And he's, he's a very important member of our group because he does a lot of the scheduling, almost all of the scheduling. He has help, all, but he is instrumental in doing that. And so we're glad that Brad's with us today. Uh, we have teams from, from Missouri, and the quality of the teams, as far as their rankings and being the best teams, is improving. And this year, we had, I believe, uh, well, we had a lot of strong teams coming in, not only from the state of Missouri, but from across the United States. I think we had either five or six states that were going to be involved. Uh, we also had some of the top players in the country that were coming in. And of course all of this is important because we have a big, we're here at the Mizzou Arena. This is the only program that's done in the United States in this fashion. So <laughs> it has become a very select situation. Uh, we're proud of it. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that it has my name on it. And I'm so happy to watch all the high school, good high school basketball players, not only in this state, but in the surrounding states. Uh, this year we had, we continue to grow. And this year we had a special feature because we were going to be able to include Special Olympics, and that, to me, that would have that would have been so special. Uh, Special Olympics, also a national sponsor of Special Olympics, is ESPN. So that would be a great tie-in. But they will be involved in in the future, and uh, we're just we're just so happy to be able to include them in, in our group. Uh, Brad, have you got anything on the schedule or anything that we need to point out? No, I think you covered it all. All right. Some of these teams are really some of the most outstanding teams in this country in high school basketball. And I want to also say that we're able, since we're, we're playing for 48 hours, we're also to continue to be able to include the local schools and the teams that are surrounding us, that are close by, because they're the ones that when we started, they were the ones that we were counting on, and we're always going to include them. I want to thank everybody for being here. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to try to answer them.
Coach, what do you uh, what do you think you're going to miss the most without being able to have this event this year? What's something you're really looking forward to? I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't hear. I'll speak up. Um, what do you think you're going to miss the most since this event isn't happening this year? What were you really looking forward to? Well, for me, I got to see some of the high school coaches. I got to see college coaches who come in and, and watch. But I, the main thing is to get to see a high school player. And, and this, you're asking me, a, it's a personal situation. When I was a senior, junior and senior in high school, we came here and played University High School which was a lab school for the university. And I was on the high school basketball team in Shelbyville. We played them when I was a junior here, and this goes way back in the 50s, early 50s, and then they came to Shelbyville. Brad, who's my scheduler, I've, I've stayed away from this for a number of years, but I said, it's my, my name is on this. Let's have Shelbyville play. And so he went to Shelbyville, and the, and the administration and the coaches there were very nice, and they had agreed to come down and play, and they were going to play, I believe they were scheduled to play at Columbia School. So that would be very meaningful to me to, after 70 years, to see a Shelbyville playing at Columbia. <laughs> but I, I love watching the high school kids. I, I love watching them play. It's changed. They're very talented. Uh, we thought we were, but they're very talented now. What has it been like for you guys, you know, trying to work through this with COVID-19? You know, what was it like trying to get through this and, you know, finally deciding that it's going to be next year when we have it? Well, we meet, we meet with Denny and, and with Brad and, and Brian Nooner with the Special Olympics, and we meet periodically, and so we didn't want to make this too early. We wanted to wait and, and, and see if there was any way. It possibly, we always looked at it that we were going to do it, and then we decided that we got to the point where there's so many states involved and their organization getting that cleared to come into our state and to play with MISHA, and MISHA has been very good. I want to make that very plain. They've been very good in, in regard to this, but we just decided that it's time to, we're going to have to say that we're going to postpone it and put it off.